Hey, what's up friends? It's Neil Zaza. I have a confession to make. I am a plug-in aholic. I love all plugins. Uh, I, I just, it's just a thing, you know, it's, it's always a, a new creative thing. Will this uh, help me in what I do making music? It's just, it's a sickness. I know it. I need therapy. But I have to tell you, one plugin this past year has totally changed the way I work and caused so many bass players in my life untold grief that I have to share it with you. So the, uh, the greatest plugin in my life this year in my countdown is, are you ready? IK Moto Bass. Um, I love this plugin for so many reasons. Now I would never think I, I would want a bass plugin. Like what's, what's so cool about a bass plugin? But how I work is when I write and I record, I'm always, I'm always tweaking things, I'm always rewriting things, I'm always, um, I'm always just ripping it all up all the time. And uh, if I go lay a, lay a track down with a real bass, that it, it's an audio file, I'm changing it the next day. So it's a waste for me to actually record bass at any point until the very final end of the project. So with Moto Bass, I can program it in, I can write in the notes or I could play it in or however I, I want to get the, the MIDI information in there. And it sounds amazing. Now there's a, a I'm sure a, a ton of great videos out that will give you the lowdown of all the the sounds and the, the specs and all that. But that's not why I'm here. I'm just here to kind of give you a quick overview why I love this thing. So in my workflow, I always want to translate what uh, I hear on the bass. And what happens is I always, I, I play the bass and I, I give it to my guys and um, it's not the best way to go. So as I'm writing recording, as you can see, um, I'm uh, writing and adding in a bunch of MIDI information and I can tweak up and I can match to my guitar so that when I bring the bass part to whoever's going to play it, or maybe I'm going to play it, it's actually the perfect part. And uh, I've done a few mixes lately where I've actually just left Moto Bass in the mix and you really can't tell the difference. It is incredible. So um, again, I'm not going to go really in depth in it, but you have all these different selections of basses and they all sound incredibly different. Uh, IK just brought out two new models here that I think are really, really cool. The, this Imperial bass has worked fantastic for me and the Dingwall metal bass is fantastic. But if you're not hip to it, you choose the model, but then you can choose all these other different uh, aspects of it. So finger, pick, slap, how much mute you want. If you want a slap stroke, a pull stroke, um, letting it ring. In here, I want a, a five string Rickenbacker uh, with the drop on. You can choose the kind of strings, flat wound, round wound, heavy gauge, thank you. Light, no. Uh, new strings, yes, broken in. So you have all these different options. You can choose the pickups, uh, you get all tweaky with it. I really haven't uh, dove in that hard into the tweak end of it, but of course you could choose your amps, uh, your pedals, uh, and of course, you can control it with any MIDI controller. So for me, writing, trying to get new tunes together, trying to uh, find exactly what part, what bass part is going to work precisely for the tune, trying ideas out, there's, there's literally nothing better. So my choice for plug-in of the year, IK Moto Bass. There you have it.